Hey, what is going on, everyone? It's Kyle from Kyle's How To. Dot com coming at you again with another video and guess what this one's gonna be about let me just tell you uh, first off it's gonna be how to uh, manually migrate your word or not migrate back up your WordPress website and why why would you ever want to manually back up your WordPress website because the backup uh, plugins just absolutely suck like uh, Honestly, on my website, I can't find one, not one of them, that'll work. I mean, of course, th it's, they're going to work on these uh, little crappy one, two-page websites, but I'm not trying to run fart press here. I'm, I'm running WordPress, so, you know, not really a fart presser. I know, like, like a lot of these YouTubers, like, they're like, oh, well, it works perfect. And it's like, well, what do you use it on? Uh, well, I use it on a one-page website. And it's like, well, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make a real website. So if you want, and it, this is just as easy as doing one of those plugins, seriously, maybe a tiny bit harder. But let me just guide you through. Here we go. So uh, unfortunately, I use GoDaddy right now. I've had some issues with them recently. But anyways, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with GoDaddy. So right here, here at the home page, click My Products, and you'll be taken to My Products. Scroll down, hit Web Hosting, and then Manage. Simple, simple, simple. All right. Wait for it to load. Yeah, I've had some speed issues with GoDaddy lately. I'm fixing to switch to SiteGround, I think. Uh, click cPanel admin and this will bring you to your cPanel as we all know uh, and your host will most likely be the same like if you're using Bluehost or SiteGround. Anyways, uh, we're here in the cPanel. Now, uh, I was going to show you which uh, website I was going to back up because I have several websites uh, or several WordPress installs on my domain and this one that I'm going to be doing is a subdomain. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down here to WordPress and I'll show you where it is. So I'm going to click on WordPress and I'm going to come up here, click on my applications and you can see all the different WordPress installs I have on my website. There's like five or six of them. Anyways, the one I'm going to back up is this sample websites. And this is where I host my sample templates for uh, clients that I'm going to build websites for. And <clears throat> you can see right here, on the top is the domain. So I'm going to go back to home. And I was just showing you where that was. Uh, so I'm going to go to File Manager. And I'm going to go down to Public HTML. And this is going to be your first step, by the way. And I'm going to find the subdomain, which is called sample.kyleshowto.com. It's right there. Double click that to go into the folder. And this is the WordPress installation right here. So all I'm going to do is click Select All, right? And then I'm just going to click Compress. And then Zip Archive, Compress Files. And then we'll wait for a little bit. Wait for basically what it's going to do is it's going to take all of the files in this directory right here, which is the whole website, and it's going to compress it into one .zip file. And that's going to be our backup file. That's going to be the first part. Now, the second part that we're fixed to go into is backing up the database, and do not worry. It's just as easy. As you can see, we're already done. So we'll hit close, and then I'm going to click reload. And as you can see, <clears throat> now, uh, whatever the first file name is, is what it's going to name this uh, .zip. So it's called cgibin.zip. I'm going to just go ahead and rename this, just so I know. And it's going to be called... Uh, sample uh, subdomain dot zip and I'm going to rename it and there it is now I'm going to show you something I'm going to go up a level and this is my uh, like root directory of public HTML and I've made a folder myself uh, WP manual backups okay and so this is where I keep my backups and I don't download every single one of them, but I'll store quite a few of them on the server. So I'm going to click into here. This is my backups folder. And I'm going to make a new folder. And the date is 
3-11-2020. And I'm going to create that folder. And so, uh, let's see, 311. So it's right here. So we need to move uh, that back up into here. And I'm going to create another folder called Samples Website. Boom. And then this is what, in this folder, is where I'll put the .zip and the .sql, which is our database. So I'm going to go back and... We were in, before I go back, I'm going to grab the name of this folder. Now you can put whatever kind of folder you want. Uh, you could put manual backups, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to hit rename, and I'm going to just control all, control C, just to copy that so that when I go to move the .zip, it will actually move into that folder. That way there's no typos. So I'm going to go back into... Uh, sample.kyleshowto.com. This is the one that we just uh, backed up. So there is our uh, .zip. So I click on it and I'm going to click move. And see, we, uh, we're in this folder right now, the sample.kyleshowto.com. And I'm going to delete that. And so we have public HTML. And then we just copied that uh, folder, WP manual backup. So that's the folder name. And we're going to move it into here. So I'm going to click move. And then I'm going to go up level, and I'm going to go back into my manual backups, click it, and then we can see it's right here. So I want to move it into the 3.11.2020. I'm going to click rename, control all, control C, cancel, and I'm going to take this backup, move, and then put a slash in the folder name, move, go into 3.11, and you can see it's right here. And so, like, I trust myself. Uh, I'm going to just move it into this next folder, which is samples website. Click move. And then we'll cl uh, click into here. And as you can see, it's right there. And we're also going to put our SQL file in there. So that's part one. Part two, we're going to come back to the cPanel. And we're going to click on PHP My Admin. Let this load and redirect and whatever it wants to do. Hey, by the way, if you're liking this content so far, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you will and, and uh, enable those notifications so that the next time I come out with a really helpful tutorial like this, uh, you'll get notified when I first come out with it. So as you can see, like the WordPress databases, I've got several of them in here. And uh, so this is like the group that... Uh, PHP, I, PHP my admin made for all of my WordPress databases. So I'm going to click plus. And I know that this, actually I don't know. So let me show you, like, okay, I got a bunch of databases over here, but I'm not sure which one is the right one. There's only one, but I got to find out which one's the right one. So I'm going to go back to the subdomain folder, which is in public HTML and sample.kyleshatchy.com. And I'm gonna go down to WP config and I'm gonna click edit, edit. This is the code editor and I'm gonna see what the uh, database name is. DB name right here. You can see that it's uh, WP7 at the end. All those uh, databases, they're, they're all the same. The only difference is this end part right here. So we can see in the WP config, it's WP7. So I'm going to just exit out of that. We know it's WP7 now. So I'm going to click WP7. It's going to load all the tables. Boom. All I'm going to do is click export. And then leave it selected to quick. Leave it selected to SQL. Go. And it's going to automatically download it. This is the backup for your database. I mean, it's real simple, isn't it? Like, it's not hard like I prefer to back up like this like fuck those uh you know stupid ass uh plugins that always fail and it takes like two hours to fucking back up <laughs> I don't know maybe it's just my service or server or something but anyways regardless this will work so we just downloaded this uh wp7.sql so I'm gonna go back to my backup folder and wp manual backups click on that and then the date is 3 11 2020 and then this is the samples website. And you can see there's our .zip backup. 
And I'm going to upload. I'm going to select the file we just downloaded, which is the SQL file. So downloads, there's our SQL file, WP7, open. It's going to upload it right here. And yes, my internet's not the fastest, so it might take just a little bit. But if it takes too long, I'll cut it out. <laughs> but this is, uh, I'll, I'll show you here in another video very soon, like how to restore your website with these backups. It's incredibly easy. There's nothing hard about this at all. And this will work for big websites too. And this is probably the way you'll have to do it for big website. Uh, some of those backup plugins, like I really don't have much experience with them. I'm sure the paid versions will work. But uh, anyways, we're uploaded, so I'm going to exit out of this, and I'm going to reload this, and boom, we've got the uh, wp7.sql, that's our database, and like I said, it's just one file, uh, unless you have like a weird WordPress installation, but like the normal WordPress in installation, it's only going to make one database, and it's going to have a bunch of tables, but that's our backup for a database, and this is our backup for uh, the actual content of the website. And I'll just, just uh, real quick, uh, before I end the video, like if you wanted to restore, like without actually doing the tutorial, if you wanted to restore uh, your website, you would just basically go to where your website's installed, like on the folder. Uh, so like in this case, uh, it'd be sample.kyleshatch.com, and you just select all, uh, and then delete, and then you would basically upload into this directory the zip file and uncompress it and then you do the same you would do the same thing in the sql database you basically drop this database and then upload the uh, backup database and then you're good to go it's, it really is that simple but that's for another tutorial uh, that will wrap it up for this one uh, so like just to recap like we just basically went in to the uh, wherever the wordpress installation was installed we uh, selected all of them, compressed them all to a zip, and then we moved the zip to the back backup folder. And you can also uh, download these to your computer. I highly recommend that. And then we created like a, a date folder. That way we know, you know what date it was when we backed that up and put it in the title of the website, which is samples website. And so like if I wanted to, to uh, back this up to my computer, I would just you know click this and then click download, and then click this, and click download. And as you can see, these are small files. My other website's like several gigabytes. So but anyway, it's incredibly fast, incredibly easy. This is the way to do it. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you enjoyed, uh, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and tick the bell notification so you'll get notifi uh, notified the next time I come out with a video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.